We are just two weeks out now from the 2020 election, and there's a lot to take into consideration this year when it comes to voting, casting that ballot. Those of you who have yet to vote, our 9 News health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is here to talk about how to do it safely during a pandemic. That's something we wouldn't have thought about last year. Dr. Coley, good morning. Good morning, Gary. How are you? I'm good. So what advice do you have to offer for those who have yet to cast a vote? So, Gary, the first thing I would say is we've given up so much this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We should not let it uh, take away our right to vote as Americans. And every single American should feel comfortable voting. But if you're high risk or you live with somebody who's high risk, I would strongly discourage you from voting in person and instead recommend that you vote by mail. That's what I did for convenience and to keep my parents safe and protected. And I think every American should feel comfortable doing that because it's a very low risk activity to vote by mail. And what if they decide they just, for whatever reason, they wanna vote in person, can that be done safely? You know, I'm glad you asked, and it certainly can be done safely, but there's some things to keep in mind. So if you decide to vote in person this year, the first thing I would recommend is try to vote early because the, the thing you wanna do is to avoid those crowds on November 3rd and really try to go when those voting polls are not busy. The next thing I would recommend is to know who you're voting for so you don't spend a lot of time kind of mulling around while you're in the voting booth. Make sure to keep your distance. You wanna keep at least six feet when you're standing outside in line, but make that 10 to 12 feet if you're standing indoors or in a poorly ventilated area. Of course, you're gonna wear your masks, but also try to wear eye protection if you can, because we know that protects you against the virus. Bring your own pen. Now, this may not be allowed at some of the voting booths, but at most of them this year, they probably are gonna allow that. So bring your own pen so it's one less thing to touch. And then finally, we've gotten really good at washing our hands, but we also have to remember, we don't wanna just sanitize our hands after we're done voting, but also sanitize those wrists because we're actually resting those wrists down when we're voting. So Gary, I have to ask you, did you already vote this year? I did already vote. I just filled it out and dropped it in the box, but uh, that's really the easiest way to do it. We are so lucky here in Colorado compared to a lot of other states that uh, during a pandemic, we have so many options. We really are, yeah, but absolutely the take home message here is don't not vote because you're afraid of the virus. You can vote by mail. You can also vote in person if you're average risk and find ways to do that safely by avoiding those crowds. Dr. Coley, always great to hear from you. Have a good day, thanks.